This video is about me living out of my pickup truck during the summer months. Viewer discretion is advised. It is 97 degrees here. We will take a gander to the back of my mobile hot box to see what the thermometer reads. As you can see, it's about 120 degrees in here. Not exactly ideal living conditions. The only way to comfortably sleep at night is with this thing wide open and that's easy and safe to do at different campgrounds. So throughout the week I'll visit campgrounds but on the weekends I generally try to avoid because it's usually a mob scene. But if I were to try the same maneuver in the city and have this thing wide open I would be a crackhead's little spoon within a matter of minutes. My latest read is a book on Alexander Hamilton. He is one of our founding fathers. So far I have learned that he was a self-educated man. I have also learned that his mother was quite promiscuous, having relations with multiple men. Fascinating stuff. It's about time for me to crash. I have my back window open, tailgates down, current weather starting to dip in the 60s I'm digging it there's only one other camper in this whole campground he doesn't appear to be an axe murderer but if he proves me wrong he is a heavy set Hispanic male he's around my age he's in a blue and white tent now that it's starting to heat up in California I will head to different public pools the pool I'm at today is located in a college town I turned 30 a few months back and in the eyes of college kids I'm officially the old creepy guy. So to fit in a little bit better I do a few different things. First thing that I do is I make sure and I put away my flip phone. College kids nowadays are infatuated with their iPods and their Blackberries and I'd just rather them not be snickering at my latest piece of technology. I also try to dress to impress. I went to Walmart a few days ago, bought the finest pair of swimming shorts I could find. I'm also rocking my latest t-shirt. This is a $5 Tiger Beer shirt I bought in Vietnam. It's always important to get a little pump in before you stroll around the pool. If I don't have access to a public pool or I'm just looking to switch things up, I will oftentimes frolic off into mother nature I'm currently in the Lake Tahoe area. I am on foot. I am in pursuit of a lake which I plan to hop into. Most of the places that I swim at require that you hike into them. And if there's hiking involved, the majority of the population won't make its way out there. So most of the places usually have a minimal crowd. One added benefit about swimming in nature is that if you're trying to get a little color on the butt cheeks, it's far easier to do it out here than it is at a public pool. It is early on in the hike and I have already encountered snow. Luckily I brought some specialized snowshoes. I'm not gonna let this deter me. Let's power on. I'm no trapper, but if I had to make a guess, I'd say we either have an elk or a grizzly up here. I will be incorporating some Wim Hof breathing into my swim today. It might just be some made up hippie stuff, but it's basically a series of deep breaths. It causes you to hyperventilate. When you hyperventilate, you're supposed to be able to deal with the cold better. I haven't done a ton of research on this, but it seems totally legit and safe. During the day, in order to avoid having a heat stroke, I will cruise to different establishments that serve either caffeine or alcoholic beverages. When you're at a bar on a Monday at 11 a.m., you do start to question some of your life decisions. But once that beer hits your tongue and you get some chicken wings in your system, all your problems seem to melt away.
with the temperatures rising I will usually spend my lunchtime hours here in the living room this is the only spot in my place with an air conditioning unit and I try and maximize it to its full capacity I've come here today I'm parked in the shade I've got the air conditioning cranked I'll be spending my lunchtime parked here next to this lovely roadway uh, bows were a part of the Viking artillery uh, and were especially useful in ship-to-ship -ship or ship-to-land warfare. I have some news regarding my hot dog spear. A couple of weeks ago I got sent out on a wildfire. They gave us a bag lunch and within that bag lunch was yet another plastic wrapped hot dog. My plan is after every wildfire I go on I will bring home the hot dog and I will equip it to my spear as a badge of honor. I do feel somewhat guilty bringing the spear to a public park. I have not registered it with the local authorities, nor am I even sure if this is a spear-free zone. My new sausage is very vibrant in color. It should add a nice little flair to my device. With this even distribution of weight, it should make throwing the spear much more effective. The most foolproof way for me to beat the heat is to simply go somewhere cooler. On the west side of California is a large body of water. I like to refer to it as Pacific Ocean. It is much cooler here than it is in the Sacramento Valley. It has also proven to be a good spot to drink some beer and watch the seals cohort.